Hi, uh, my name is T. Lawrence Simon, and I am the one-man owner, doer, all things of Cirque de Souffle, a custom baking and chocolatier business in the Boston area. I was a circus performer and still am for 15 years now, and in a nutshell, what makes Cirque du Souffle unique is that I take all of the daring and imagination of the circus with all of the technique and precision of fine baking and put them together so you get a whole spectacle, you get a show, but also you're fed and you have yummy things. <laughs> So I only started baking in spring 2018, but I was living with my friend who pretty much every night after work, she would watch an episode or two of Great British Baking Show. And so I was sitting there and I was just watching her mutter at the screen and she was like, that's too much flour. You know, and she's like, oh God, that's never gonna set. I was like, oh, there's like a lot of science to baking. And I never really thought that there was science to baking, but if you tell me that something is finicky and um, technical, I then need to learn how it works. So. I tried baking a cake to surprise her and it was a mess. It was a brick, which meant that I needed to figure out how it works. So I went and studied a lot. I took like two months and just like learned the science of baking. And I just tried different flavor combinations and different styles and different techniques and recipes. And so I was baking and just making treats for friends and you know nothing super fancy. And then a year goes by and on Instagram, I get a message from Food Network Canada and they're like, hey, do you want to be on this chocolate show? And I was like, sure. I you know, had been baking for a year. I didn't think I was some prodigal baker, but I went there and I kind of assumed, you know, I'm a circus performer. I get it. I make good TV and they're gonna keep me for like maybe two episodes and then eliminate me because I was funny and then they were like, okay, we need the real bakers. But then I was doing really well. They were liking everything I was making and they were telling me good things about my baking skills. And so all of a sudden I kind of went like, hmm, am I actually good at this? Which was really great and really kind of um, encouraging. So I came home from filming the show with this like, fire in me to see what I could do with this. And then the pandemic happened, so I lost most of my job and created Cirque du Souffle. Baking, really, the world is your oyster. I specialize personally in a lot of French techniques, so macarons and madeleines and the patisserie. So I started offering an afternoon tea service. You can pick up to, you know, four to six items on your menu, and then I provide a whole tea stand and fill it with wonderful, delicious French bites. When it comes to chocolate, I offer different flavored bars and then also bonbons, which are the filled confections. And then I do everything up to wedding cakes and birthday cakes, and I've had a lot of vaccination cakes, which has been really fun. To me, every customer is a new project, a new idea. Baking is just a different way of storytelling and connecting, and so I will always try and you know push myself and also push my audience forward with my food and try to kind of create imagination within them.